from iDesign Trainer. We do online InDesign and Photoshop training. But today I'm going to show you a little known trick that I've used for quite a number of years. How to cut out pictures using InDesign. We're not going to go into Photoshop at all. Um, the trick is this. We go into the pen tool and let's say we want Ariana and Ed Sheeran only. Well, maybe I'll cut it out, a series of clicks. I'll do it fairly fast just for this demonstration, just so it won't take too long. And so if you were doing it, you'd take a little bit more time over it to get a good edge and to get go around all the fingers. So I'm working my way around Ed Sheeran and with the pen tool, it's very similar to Photoshop, you've got a Bezier curve. Can you see? You can drag it, get a curve line invented by some Swiss guy called Bezier. And I'm working my way around Ariana as well because we may decide just to have a bit of the background in or none of the background. Again, I'm going around very quick. Obviously, you take a bit of time going around hands, but I'll just go around it as easy as possible. But bear in mind that Bezier curve, you can see if you pull it out, you get rounded edges. So we're doing a cutout purely using InDesign, no Photoshop involved. When you get to the last click, you click it, so you finish. You normally get a little circle appear. Okay, so we've cut it out. Um, the next thing to do is go into the solid pointer, click on the round disc, just so you get the brown box, control C, then very deliberately make sure you're in the solid pointer. You've got to pick up this edge. Can you see here? Click. You've got to wait for the uh, pointer to appear. Most people do control V, but that doesn't work. The trick is edit, paste into. Now, this is the magic. If I click on the background, I pull down the background, and now I've got a choice. Do I want a partial cutout with a bit of background, or do I want a complete cutout? So, you know, sometimes people have a hand poking out of a picture. Um, you've got all that choices, but maybe I'll just take it out altogether. Okay, and you may think, well, that's a bit messy. It's got a black outline around it. We take the black outline to zero. Um, you may think, well, it's still a crappy cutout. Um, if I click on, click on it to select it, um, object effects, maybe I'll uh, let's do that again, object effects. Sorry, I meant to go to basic feather. And basic feather will blur the edge a bit. You can blur it more or you can blur it less. Don't forget to click on the preview and OK it. Take the guides off it. You look, well, it's not a bad soft edge to it. Uh, one can improve that by putting text around it. <coughs> the text, you can have a text wrap on it like this and the text will flow around it. Thanks very much. Hope to see you on a course, especially an online live course, idesigntrainer.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.